Let's view the Teams in Space workflow. I'll start by going to the site URL and logging in as William Smith. You can use the email address that corresponds to his name and the password that you should have received. If you see a prompt to select navigation, choose Used Improved Navigation. This gives you a horizontal menu bar at the top of Jira. You can also do this at any time by clicking on the avatar and choosing Try the new navigation. Now let's navigate to the Teams in Space project. On the Active Sprints page, we can view the board. This is a representation of the project's workflow and you can see the issues in different statuses or columns on the board. Let's take a look at the project settings by clicking Project Settings in the project sidebar. Next, I'll click on Workflows. On the Workflows page, you see the workflow in use by this project, TIS Dev Workflow. From here, the project admin can view the workflow as text or diagram. I'll click Diagram on the Workflows page. Note that this project admin is not able to edit the workflow. The workflow in Jira Cloud needs to be changed by a Jira administrator. What transitions run between in progress and inspection? To see the transition names, mouse over the transition labels. Then you can see the ready for review transition runs from in progress to inspection and the code review failed transition runs from inspection back to in progress. Now let's view the project's board configuration. I'll return to the Projects board by clicking back to Project and select Board Settings from the Board menu or the three horizontal dot icons in the top right corner. What role does the Project Admin need to configure this board? The Project Admin needs to be a Board Administrator. You can see William Smith is listed in the Administrators list on this page so he's all set. To add more Board Administrators, simply edit this list here and add users. Next, I'll click Columns in the sidebar. Here you see how the workflow statuses map to the board's columns. By default, the column names will be the same as the status names, but the project admin could rename the column headings if they wished. You may want to do this if the underlying status name is not very intuitive. We'll do a bit of this later in the exercise. Note that William can add columns to the board, but he cannot add statuses to this board because this board is not using the simplified workflow. You can add any statuses to the board on this page if the board is using the simplified workflow.